Okay, so for this project we're going to be making a case for these Plectrums guitar picks. Uh, I'm going to be making it out of uh, sepal and oak. It's going to be a very standard little box. It's just the where they slide in, stack them up, um, a little uh, rotating lid. Very simple, very quick, brilliant little project. Nice little gift for someone. Um, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plectrum and oh, the piece of sepal, if I can keep it in one place, and I'm going to trace around the plectrum. But what I'm going to do first is attach it to the sepal with a piece of double-sided sticky tape. Otherwise, it's just going to move around all over the place. Now I'm going to trace a slightly wider line around the inner line, freehand. This will ensure there's plenty of movement for the plectrums. I've also coloured that in just for cutting purposes later on. Now I'm going to trace again on a lot, a much wider scale. Again, freehand. You can do this as big as you want. You can do it any shape you want. Now I'm going to cut it out with a jigsaw. Now I'm just going to use my rasp and give it some shape. Now I'm going to cut this piece down to size to create the top and the bottom. I'm going to measure in 2 centimeters on the top and I'm going to cut it down into sections. This will create the top and the bottom. Then I need to trace them out again. Next thing we want to do is get this plectrum off for a start and then drill some holes and then file it out so it's the correct shape we want it. Just using a 15mm force and a bit to take out the bulk of the centre. Now I'm just going to file the rest out by hand. As I've done most of it by hand, I've decided to cheat for the rest of it and do it with a router. <laughs> Good trick to smooth it off is wrap a bit of sandpaper around a chisel or a screwdriver or a file, whatever. Obviously, I'm using the file to smooth it off, but this gets it a bit more to a fine grade. So you just wrap it around, and push it in. Now I'm just going to glue the bottom piece to the center piece. Now I'm attaching the lid with some double sided tape. Basically because I haven't got a disc sander I have to use this uh, drill operated one uh, which is quite handy to be honest. Uh, I've used it before, um, it does take a long time to uh, get anything done but it does get a job done. I'm just going to curve off the edges slightly on my router table. I'm just going to put some glue into the lid here because that's the bit that the hinge or the dowel for the hinge is going to be glued into. Now with the dowel glued through the lid, I'm just going to pop it into the hole there and flush saw the outer dowel off. And then sand that flush. And just to finish it off, I'm going to give it a coat of spray bar. Now 
Okay, so that's another handy little project made. Nice little gift for someone. Not sure how many plectrums you can fit in there. Probably about 10 or so, because so, they're only thin. But so not too bad. Nice little simple, easy project. You can make that in a day, um, day and a half, depending um, on gluing time and whatnot. Um, just a little note that um, to make that uh, dowel rod swivel a little bit better, I've actually um, rubbed some uh, wax on it, some beeswax. Uh, that makes it swivel a lot nicer. Um, so again, hope you enjoyed that project. Um, like I say, it was only a quick, simple little one. Um, quite a fun little thing to do, though. Um, you know, a nice little gift for someone. Uh, and then if you uh, haven't subscribed, please do. Um, thank you for watching, and thank you for all my subscribers. And um, also, please uh, go onto my Facebook page or uh, put a like on there, or yeah, thumbs up, or whatever. Um, until next time, take care.